What's up folks? I'm back with another reaction, back with some more punk rock, and we're back with some more Dead Kennedys. We're going back to their debut album, Fresh Fruit for Rotting Vegetables. Uh, I mentioned before, this is the only album in their original run uh, that was not on Alternative Tentacles. It was on Cherry Red, a UK label. Uh, though I should point out, like even so, they have a you know Alternative ten Tentacles, um, Alternative Tentacles catalog page. Uh, did want to give a shout out to the Gatefold uh, release for this one. Always appreciated that as well, especially as the the look of the two discs, classic, iconic. Uh, but we're gonna listen. We're gonna listen to a tune called "When You Get Drafted." Um, this is a tune. Uh, is this album 1980? Uh, 80 slash 81. So I'm guessing this was released in 81. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's a song which speaks to. Um, it uses the United States as a, the most direct example, but I do think this is something that it could apply to sort of repressive uh, human societies around the world, which is to say, you know, just about every human society. Um, but it talks about the way in which foreign threats, uh, either real, exaggerated, or entirely fabricated, are used to drum up <clears throat> domestic support, psychological, emotional, sociocultural, um, logistical, uh, for the state and its military endeavors um, abroad. And so um, it talks about the way in which, you know, in certain circumstances, if an economy <clears throat> is flailing or stagnating, um, you know, certain uh, government leaders might make a decision to, you know, uh, get government um, or uh, uh, military contracts going by essentially starting a war somewhere. And, you know, well, that'll get the economy going and it'll get. Um, you know, our friends who run these defense companies, it'll get them contracts and so on. And ultimately, you know, we'll have all the cannon fodder we need because, you know, there's a lot of poor people and, you know, a lot of unemployed anyway. So we can just kind of round them up and conscript them, you know, maybe not officially uh, in terms of drafting them, but in all but name, you know, we'll put sort of organs of this conscription system in schools and town halls and public centers and so on. Um, so eventually a lot of these people will sort of draft themselves willingly and the rest they will kind of like corral them in anyway. Uh, and then, you know, we'll sort of fan the flames of racial hatred and so on, which will make them more keen to fight against, you know, people who look differently, who come from very far away, even if the, the reason that the fighting is happening there is for a very crass and sort of like, um, uh, greedy or um, avaricious uh, reason. So um, yeah, it's, it just speaks to the way in which societies, and again, it, you, the U.S. is used as the example here, um, about the way in which societies um, enlist members of the public to um, support and be part of like heinous foreign policy um, because of the sort of, again, like, um, like public propaganda mixed with the sort of um, stranglehold of people's lives through institutions which allows them to be conscripted again if not officially uh, in all but name. Uh, so yeah that's what I've always took the lyrics to uh, to discuss. Let me know if you have a different take as I uh, have said many times, maybe not every time I do a video lately because I've said it so many times, but you know some of you might be finding this channel for the first time. Um, I don't claim any of my lyrical analyses to be definitive or authoritative, it's just you know, I've listened to a lot of these songs for decades, and so um, I have thought about them and thought about the different ways they can apply. And again, a song like this, you know, I think it is very much about the U.S., and that is, um, you know, the American culture, politics, and government is often um, the target of Jello's pen, if you will. Um, but, you know, you listen to these songs for a long time, and you realize, you know, they don't just apply here, they, they apply in... Pretty much everywhere humans do these things and sort of express power in one way or another. So anyway, let's get to it. This is Dead Kennedy's When You Get Drafted from their 1981 album, uh, Fresh Fruit for Rotting Vegetables. <laughs> That's another thing, like, you know, people that are just kind of brought in, they might not know what's going on, they're like, oh, I hit a button, I shot a missile, I killed people, whoops, it was the wrong target. Thank <laughs> you. 
That line about we'll make you a spy, it's like, yeah, you know, like you can't shoot bombs, or you can't carry a gun or whatever. All right, like we'll send you deep with enemy, within enemy lines in a very vulnerable situation without the proper training or support system and so on. And like, whoops, you got caught and tortured. Um, yeah, again, it's just a sort of comprehensive critique of, you know, like, um, brutal, militaristic, like, imperialistic foreign policy, as well as the domestic politics that that usually entails, um, sort of, the, you know, there's class um, analyses in there about the way in which it is often poor people who are sent to fight wars, which, you know, they're not the only band to make uh, arguments uh, in that regard, you know, bad religion, system of a down, and so on. Um, but yeah, and then also the way in which like, um, you know, sort of cultural commentary and, you know, news opinionist or opinion uh, columnists and so on sort of fan the flames of, like, cultural bigotry and so on to, you know, drum up public support for some of these endeavors, which are ultimately launched as, you know, a way to kind of kickstart the economy when it seemed to be stagnating and, you know, the party in power doesn't want to lose seats and so on. Um, so, again, it's like... There's criticism is just running in so many different directions on this one, which again it speaks very much to um, Jello's wicked and caustic pen. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of this one. Let me know if you're fond of this album. It definitely has the most kind of like old school late '70s feel to it of all their material. Um, I very much enjoy it, but it is again notable how different I think their next album, uh, Plastic Surgery uh, Disaster, sounds. It's much more of like a real hard, like faster early '80s kind of punk rock sound. So. Um, again, it is interesting to hear the evolution in their sound. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Other than that, I'll see you next time.